Hey everybody, Mark Agnese here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to yet another brand new episode of Guitar of the Day. Um, Guitar of the Day super fan. I mean like extra super fan. Like I thought Mikey Mojo was a super fan, and he is, but Bob Simmons is a real super fan. Bob sent us over uh, an email, was that this morning? Yeah, with the spreadsheet. Reminding us that February 26th of this month will be the three year anniversary of Guitar of the Day. Five days a week for the last three years. That's uh, 19 days away. But also included in this email, Bob attached a spreadsheet of all, what is it, 706 know, six, or seven yeah, episodes so. so far. What the guitar was, notes about it on the side, Notes like, oh, it's refinished, or uh, tortoise headstock, or repeat. He even picked out some repeats in there, because it's <laughs> happened a couple of times. Or sometimes I've sold something and got it back and did it again. He even had that notated. The Gibson? But then you look at the bottom, and it goes by brand, and it shows, like, how many Gibsons we've done, how many Fenders. By the way, Gibson's most done guitar, then Fenders, then Martins, and then just by numbers. Then by model, Stratocasters, Telecasters, Jaguars, Jasmine, and then by, he, it was nuts. Thanks, Bob, for uh, for reminding us about the three-year anniversary. Thank you for cataloging all of that. So cool. It really is crazy that it's almost been three years of doing this. I know. Nuts. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. A uh, couple other shout-outs. Uh, the uh, the uh, 330 with the wiggle stick from last Wednesday. That one's gone. My buddy Mark Manley got that one. Congratulations, Mark. Nice to meet you the other day. But yeah, that one's gone. Sold. And also, a uh, big shout-out to my buddy Pete Zoom from Instagram. Came in, got another little gold top for me today. I'm sure he'll be posting pictures of that if you follow Pete Zoom on uh, on the on the online. Guys, we gotta talk about something. It's Thumpin' Thursday. Woo! Don't tag them on. And by them, I mean like the four people that... Can we just skip it this week and do a gold top of P90s? Oh, you're down for that? Cool, me too. Let's do it. Come on back. Oh, this is from 1979. This is an original Gibson Les Paul Deluxe gold top. However, the mini humbuckers have been removed and the previous owner dropped in a rip-roaring set of P90 pickups. Also changed the knobs to make it look more like a, like a 50s gold top. But man, it's a really clean guitar, I gotta tell you that. Um, there's really, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's got changed pickups, so that's kind of like, you know, a player grade guitar but like there's nothing player grade about this thing man this is like a really really clean really clean late 70s les paul great neck by the way we're out of the pancake bodies at this era so there's no little line down the middle where it was the two pieces kind of stuck together back to one piece we do still have the three-piece maple neck we do still have the volute gibson double line deluxe tuners but yeah, so usually on a Gold Top Deluxe, you'll see the mini humbuckers. They usually have like a little ring around them and stuff. If you take those off, they are the exact same sized route as a inset P90, Sopar P90. So you don't have to modify the guitar at all. Sometimes you'll see Deluxes and people routed them out and dropped humbuckers in it. That's a totally different thing. This, these P90s just dropped right in. And now it's kind of like a 56 Gold Top or like a 68 Gold Top almost. And they change, like I said, they change the knobs out as well to kind of give it more of that feel of like a 56 gold top. Frets are in really, really great condition. I mean, look at the guitar. The guitar is really, really clean. Frets are in great shape to match the rest of the other guitar. Pretty cool, guys. So much better than a bass, right? Why don't we go to the couch? We'll plug it in, see what this guy can do. All right, we're out front. We have the 1979 Gibson Les Paul Deluxe gold top. Mini humbuckers removed. P90s dropped in. We're going through the uh, 64 handwired deluxe reverb from Fender today. All EQs at noon. Just a little bit of reverb. Volume on the amp right now is at four. We'll turn that up in a little bit. Let's start on that neck pickup. All by itself. So we can do it.
position, we got both of those P90s working together. Let's turn the amp up a number. Five, noon across the board, and just a little bit of reverb. Let's see what this thing can do with both pickups. Bridge pickup, wide freaking open, all by itself. Amp goes up to uh, six and a half, why not? See what that bridge does here. <laughs> from 1979. Original Gibson, Les Paul, Deluxe, Gold Top, Mini Humbuckers removed, P90s dropped in, knobs changed, non-original hard shell case. Really, really clean guitar, but sounds awesome. No modifications for a player grade guitar. It's hardly a player. There you go. Wasn't that better than a bass? Check <laughs> out the uh, store on Instagram and at Norman's Rare Guitars. Check out the guitars online at normansrareguitars.com. Make sure you come back again for another brand new episode of Guitar of the Day. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Bob for the spreadsheet. Yes. Thorough, homie. Thorough. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Bye. Bye.